Here is the factorial plot that I've simply taken from jump, and let's remember what question we're seeking to answer. Is there a time of day effect at just Gilman Drive? Now certainly, we could eliminate the rest of the data in our data set and run a one-way ANOVA. That is, we could simply use the data filter or even delete the rows for the rest of the data in the data set. Then, if we were to do a one-way analysis of variance looking at just time of day, that would be a test of whether there is a time of day effect at Gilman Drive. But there's a more efficient way to do this, and it's by testing slices within the factorial analysis of variance. Let's start with a definition. A test of a slice is a linear contrast testing the overall effect of one factor at a single level of another factor. Now this is analogous to a one-way, single-factor analysis of variance for the factor being tested, holding constant the level of another factor. Now we often call this a sub-design ANOVA. That is, it's almost like a one-way ANOVA looking at one of the factors at just one level of the other factor. And that's what we would be testing if we wanted to know the effect of time of day, one factor, at just one level of the other factor. That is, at just Gilman Drive. So let's look at the different slices we could have. Now, there are four slices that account for the different time of day effects. That is, we can look at the time of day effect at just Gilman Drive, Nobel Drive, La Jolla Village Drive, or Genesee Drive. So those are four of the possible slices that we can make using our factorial design. There are actually four additional slices. Notice that we could look at the route effect at just one particular time. So we can also have the slices vertically. What is the route effect at just 8 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, and 9.30? So when we test slices, we will actually get these eight different tests, the eight different slices of our factorial design. Let's see what would happen if we run this in jump. Under the dropdown for route by time of day, we're given the test slices option. So let's produce the test slices and see what jump gives us. Here, we're given eight separate outputs, and to show you there are eight, notice there's a slice for Genesee, Gilman, La Jolla Village Drive, and Nobel, and there's a slice for 8 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, and 9.30. What these slices are referring to is at which level we're holding constant. So if I'm looking at the slice for Gilman Drive, this is a test of the other factor at just Gilman Drive. So this p-value here, this p equals 0.8383 is the p-value referring to the test of the time of day effect at just Gilman Drive. Notice that we have the test for every slice. So the test at Genesee Drive is the time of day effect for Genesee Avenue. And notice in this case, we do have evidence there is a time of day effect at Genesee Drive. What about some of our other slices? Do we think there is a route effect that is differences amongst the routes at just 8 o'clock? So let me scroll down to our slice at 8 o'clock. Here we get a p-value less than 0 0.0001. We do have evidence that there is a difference between these routes at just 8 a.m. So notice that testing slices allows us to form a number of important comparisons, comparisons we often want to make when we have these larger factorial designs. Of course, we can always make specific pairwise comparisons if we like, using the test contrast, so least squares mean contrast, or if we want to produce every possible comparison, either the least squares mean students T, or least squares means Tukey HSD. But remember, each of these will produce every possible pairwise comparison we can make, so you may be better off using the specific least squares means contrast panels to define which particular contrast or comparison you want to run.